And now this is the part where I have to forget I put my camera on. Because I was channeling. No, I was chanting. No, I was trying to practice my lines once again. Because uh, we're starting with straight talk, peer-to-peer -peer recovery. And I was really inspired by and impressed because I'm here in my pyjamas. Um, trying to put it together because I was woken up again for the fourth time in one evening because I was getting my dreams disrupted with uh, negative energies I would say and because the only reason why I say that is the dreams I was remembering coming out of and I'm going, wait a minute, I haven't smoked rock for 20 years. What is this garbage malarkey? And it was because, because, people were running up and down the staircase. The staff members have a period of time when they're not here. They have to go to another building where they're not even, they don't have a staff member at night. So it must be a different group of people, like older gentlemen or something. They live in, and they live in SROs, which is a single room occupancy, where I find myself today after moving in 2006. And it was bought by the city of Vancouver and renovated. And I have that story amongst several others that also have lived in this building for quite some time. So we have, well, I'm here to remind the city of Vancouver that I have that book, providing that this building doesn't get burnt down. Now in the tarot community, which I pay mine to only for, um, investigation purposes which came by surprise or a fluke because I pay attention to when my intuition is screaming and hollering at me on the inside you can't live with it it's like having two mindsets you know I think that's where that scripture in the Bible comes in I believe it's in the New Testament I'm not certain about the old whereabouts it might be in the Old Testament or even the New Testament. I've read I read the Gospels in my youth. So I went back to read finishing it by do, reading the five books of Moses. And I probably skipped a few couple of few near the end and went right to straight to Malachi because that was a book that uh, our dad, may he rest in peace, may God rest his soul often would refer to that was some of his I don't know if they were his favorite but as a mere observation that was a book he would quote from a lot <laughs> um, because I think the book of Mel does it I wasn't sure if I went there's a few there there's the book of Hosea I think that's where I might have left off but I haven't completely finished it entirely but I have I can say I have read the Bible at least once, and one thing I can say about it, all the mentors or any mentors I've ever had in my entire life, 62 years, they've all had one thing in common, and that's that they read, they read the Bible and they probably still read it today. I just wanted to make a short, quick video for my supporters, both on TikTok and YouTube. I haven't grown in three years, I mean, excuse me, more than three years, I mean, I haven't grown past 380 subscribers. Um, I'm not even monetized, never have been. Um, I, I, I've been seeing a lot of people move away from this platform. And there's been somebody who has impersonated me that went to Google school, took an, an email from my Gmail account that I can't find today, because uh, I even recently looked for it again. 
can't find it. I was going to go to Google school. Now, what that meant was I didn't know. I'm pretty sure it meant something about working on, online. If you, if you have skills like with uh, Microsoft columns, which I never finished. What's that part of Microsoft? Oh, it feels, anyways. Uh, Excel, yeah. Um, you learn the abilities to mess with the interfacings. That means messing with people's monies, behind the scenes, all that kind of stuff. And I just think it's outrageous because I, you know, because I naturally can notice patterns. Uh, I think when something jumps out of that's different from a regular pattern or code or whatever, I guess it's patterns. I wanted to be a textilist at one point. So I think that's a similar skill set and mindset anyways because I have the natural uh, gift of observation something will uh, jump out at me it's like it screams at you you can't avoid it you can't miss it it comes right to you because there's not something you could look for it just comes to you or it just stands out that's it. a better way of putting it it stands out and it's screaming it's got red flags red alarm <laughs> I'm having my morning lunch for this and that trigger warning, I guess we got to do. But this has gone over five minutes now. Didn't want to make it too long. But uh, to one of the, my best friends, who's now no longer with us, uh, may I say whatever works. Um, especially with those that are fighting the uh, opiate. We went through a lot, Miles and I, and I miss him very much. And I'm sorry I didn't want to do this. But I need, I need people to know this stuff, even though I didn't suffer it. And I have much respect for opiates, because I do believe in having morphine in the hospital. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here right now to tell you this story, and I didn't want to cry, so please forgive me. I don't know if I'll edit it or even upload it. Uh, but I was inspired the other day to stick with it. I mean, with, with this work this volunteer work and writing this book because it's wrong. It's just wrong. And I'm not a Karen. I am a Sharon, but I'd rather be a Karen. Maybe I would be a better Karen than I would a Sharon because Sharons are cool. Me, not so much.